Hey everybody, I have some great news. Um, it's happened. The union between my dogs Figment and Mango, they were married in a uh, private ceremony. We did not invite anyone. And they have produced some babies. We have babies in the house. Baby, 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 baby. Four beautiful little babies. Um, let me introduce you to the gang, shall we? I, I wish I wrote a song for this. I mean, that would be so much fun. I should put more work into these. Pepper, who's working on her doctorate. Basil, the cutest one. Coco, she's um, she's my little sensitive girl. She's so sensitive. And then there's Ginger. We're not playing favorites, but my favorite is Ginger. She's my little baby. And of course we have, you know, Figment and Mango. And then Blueberry, who's like a gay uncle. Anyway, so now that I have seven dogs, I thought it'd be fun to rank, um, to rank the dogs, uh, not in like, cuteness or thing, um, but something more realistic. Which one of these seven dogs is most likely to eat my body if they find my corpse? Join me, won't you? <laughs> Start uh, age, age-wise, shall we? Just go down the ages. Blueberry. Uh, here's here's Blueberry in his natural environment underneath my grandfather. Uh, he's a good little man. He's a little. He's a good boy. He's a good. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Um, Blueberry. I do, I think he'd be. I think he's so empathetic. He won't eat my corpse if it came across it. He'd be so depressed. He just a little put his little head on top of me, and then he. You know, I think if anything, he'd stop the other dogs from eating my corpse. Because Blueberry is the only one, I, I guarantee you, will not take a nibble out of me. Maybe maybe he'll lick. He'll try. He'll try it. He'll try to say that he's done it. But I don't think he would genuinely, like, actively eat my corpse. We've got Mango. Here she is just being a cute little scooch. Uh, she's a new mommy, so she's been a little protective of her babies. But other than that, she's a sweetheart. She's the cutest little girl. I definitely think she would eat my corpse. Um... I, I, I think she's up there, though. Like, my, probably... I'm going to just blind rank him right now. We're going to put Blueberry at 7, because I think he's least likely to eat. I'm going to put Mango... I'm going to put Mango at 3, which is high. Which is high. But... Um, yeah, I, I think she's a 3. I think there are at least two other dogs that are more likely to eat my corpse. But I think Mango's a three. Next we got Figment, my little man. He's my little boy. He's sitting right here. He's Figment. Figment. He's my little man. He's looking. You want to come here? You want to come here? No, he's too busy thinking about eating my corpse. Um, I will say Figment, um, he does this really cute thing. Uh, when he gets too excited, he, he gets a little nippy, but I've taught him not to nip anymore. But what he does is he just takes his little mouth and puts it against my, like, face. And will just blow hot air as he just, like, heavily breathes on me. Just like a... <laughs> on my face um, when he gets too excited. Uh, so since... But, but he wants to bite. He wants to bite. And if I can't fight back anymore because I'm dead, I think Figment may be a two. I definitely think Figment's a two. Um, yeah. Figment's a two. He, he's more likely to eat my corpse than Mango. Honestly, it's also like a like a probability thing. I'm not with Mango 100% of the time, you know? I don't see Mango every day. Well, I see her every day, but, like, I don't see... I'm not with her every second of the day. So, like, there's a chance I don't die around her. Figment, I'm with uh, almost 24-7. So, Fig, Figment makes sense. Like, I most likely will die in front of this dog. So, like, it's... It's, um, it's most likely that he will, he will have the opportunity to eat me. To eat my corpse. Let's go with the babies. We got babies. We got babies. We got babies. Look at all these beautiful little girls. All right, let's start with, um, since they're all kind of the same age, uh, and I don't remember what, how, who was born before who, let's just go um, by cutest. So we're going to start at, at Basil. Um, Basil. <sighs> Basil, you know she's, she's fox-like. She's got these little long deer legs. She's not... She's playful, and she nibbles because she's a puppy, but she never bites down. So I'm going to put her... I'm going to put her at six. I don't think Basil would eat a corpse, but I definitely think she's a, she's a baby, so she maybe, she, maybe she'll gain, like, she'll get a taste for it. Um, 
but but she's probably a little more likely than blueberry, but not as likely as blueberry. So I'm gonna so right now as it stands, we have figment at two, mango at four, basil at six, and then we have uh, of course uh, Mr. Blueberries at seven. Next we have Coco. Coco's a little lady. She's she's so sensitive. Um, that being said, it's always the sensitive ones, right? It's always the quiet ones that eat your corpse. I'm going to put her at one. She's most likely to eat a corpse. She's most likely to, like... I, I, I don't, listen, I, I don't trust her little face, you know? She's got a very, like, kind of, like, <laughs> kind of energy, because uh, she's too quiet, and it's always the quiet ones that you have to look out for. So she's 100% number one, to the point where I think there's a good chance in her lifetime she will attempt to eat a corpse. I don't make the rules. Next we have Peppa, the big girl. She's the biggest puppy. She's also the most awkward. She's got long legs, but like a thick body. So she's constantly knocking into stuff. But I don't think that, I don't think that then goes to being like, um, uh, I guess, I guess I think I can, Pepper's also a biter and Pepper, Pepper, the way she barrels into people. I think that she has enough, like with Figment has an opportunity to, but less where Figment, you know, I see, I, 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 I like, I, Figment has been like, you know, he's been tenderizing me slowly and trying to find a good place to start, start on in on the, on the meat. But with, 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 see, Mango, I don't think would really do it, but I think there's a possibility. So let's look at her list, shall we? Number seven, we have Blueberry. Then number six, we have Basil. We don't have a number five yet because we're going to, we're going to pick her next. Uh, Mango at number four. Pepper at number three, Figment at number two, and then number one, of course, Coco will 100% eat a corpse. And uh, that brings us to number five, Ginger. Now, Ginger's at number five for one reason, one reason only. I have favoritism towards Ginger. She's she's my favorite of the puppies. And you're like, oh, you shouldn't pick favorites. No, 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 no. Pick favorites. Anyway, Ginger, I'm putting her in the middle because they can go either way, you know? Ginger, I can see her not eating my corpse one day, but then I can see her putting a little bib on and grabbing two little forks. Anyway, this was a very weird, dark video, but it's the only way I can introduce you to my puppies that feels natural for me. Maybe I should talk to someone. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and like this video. Uh, tell your friends. Oh, I got merch now. You know, that's fun. Maybe I'll do a whole video about my merch. Do I have, why do I have merch? Who's that for?